My name is Brandon and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see in here, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button so you stay notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get straight on with today's video. Hello and welcome back to Is That More Brandon? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Love Island episode 9. So this is kind of the start of the second week and what we found out is that in the previous episode, uh, the public were going to be voting for their favourite boy and girl, with those that had the lowest votes being the first to be dumped from the island. So at the beginning of the episode, uh, Jesse and Lana had a quick chat, and they both basically explained that they enjoyed the dates that they went on. Uh, Olivia said that she didn't really have a spark with Aaron, kind of hinting that she obviously wanted to continue getting to know Harris. Will and Jesse also had a quick chat where he basically said to her that although it's only been 24 hours, he likes what was happening between the two of them. And he basically said to her that all of his eggs are in her basket. So I think it's quite nice for Will to have found a connection, whether it lasts all the way through or whether it's kind of just for now, because he did have that kind of first week not being able to connect with anyone. Or I think he kind of, with the girls, it was more like a friendship thing rather than anything serious romantically. So it's nice that at the moment he is with her. But like I said in the previous episode, Jessie has actually done Love Island before in Australia. It clearly didn't work out for her, so maybe she is just going for the guy who she thinks is the most popular and, and that's why she's gone for him. Kai asked Danielle where she sees things going with Ron. She said she wants to see how it goes. She doesn't see Ron as more than a friend, but she kind of wants to give it a go. And Kai actually revealed that he likes her a lot more than he thought he did. Um, with Tanyol jokingly saying he should kiss her on the cheek and him joking that he should kiss her on the lips. So there is a little bit of flirty banter between the two of them. I think it's that thing of they weren't that close at the beginning or they didn't really talk at the beginning and now they've explored other options. They've now realised they actually like each other. So yeah, maybe that's a life lesson of don't worry about not finding the right person because it may already be someone that you've met or been with and it's kind of it will just click for them and you that actually you were just right for each other. Uh, Ron and Lana had a quick chat as well and she said that she wanted to keep Ron on his toes but she wasn't interested in Aaron and she just knows that she is a good date. I think here she's kind of basically saying like she knows how to go on a date and she knows how to not necessarily impress the guy but she knows how to not make the date awkward basically. So although there maybe isn't that connection, she still had that kind of friendship date vibe with Aaron so yeah. It's good that they had that quick chat as well. Uh, Kai actually said to the boys that he was going to go and talk to Anna Mae because he wasn't really sure whether there was anything romantically between the two of them. So he pulled her for a chat and he basically said to her that he thinks he's getting on quite well with Tanyelle um, and that he wasn't really sure if there's anything between the two of them. Anna Mae said that they get along uh, really well as friends. So yeah, they do have that the, those connections. Yeah, but more on a friendship level. Uh, Anna Mae then actually went to go and speak to Will and she said that she just wants to find someone uh, and she's obviously upset that even after a week she's not been able to have at least some connection. She actually did get quite upset here so I think she did start crying, um, which was obviously quite sad to see. But again, I think because she is the youngest in the show and also because she's the girl that probably hasn't had a connection with anyone or the, the weakest connection as opposed to maybe Tanya and Shaq for example. She kind of felt like a, a spare a spare part. And yeah, she basically went on to say, when everyone's found someone, it is a bit frustrating. So I think it's just that thing of because you're seeing people kind of falling in love around you, like even Will, it took him about a week, but yeah, he managed to now finally find a connection. She kind of now hasn't, and all of those that she was potentially starting things with, like with Harris for example, that ended up as a friendship couple, with Will, obviously, that didn't really go anywhere. And obviously now with Kai, he's revealed that he actually likes Tanyelle. So it's a bit of an awkward one for her, but she still, I guess, has a bit of time. Uh, Kai and Tanyelle had a bit of a weird flirting hug. I wouldn't really call it a hug, but it was more they just kind of jumped on each other, wrapped their legs around each other. So that was quite um, nice, I think. Uh, Tanyelle and Olivia had a quick chat and they both kind of agreed that it was nice that Jesse had a lot in common with Will. And Ron basically said to Jesse that he doesn't really have his eyes on anyone else. So although she was pulling him for a chat, his, it's gonna take him a lot to kind of have his head swung elsewhere. Tanya said that she, so they were talking about football related things here, but they were relating it in terms of the guys. So obviously we've had like the going to the, the nail salon or graduating from university with a degree, those kind of ways of describing this kind of thing. Um, so Tanya said that she likes the pitch that she's seeing. And it's quite funny because Lana just joked about saying like, what about the balls? So obviously it sounds wrong, but also, 
yeah, it's still football related. It just the way it came out was kind of a bit awkward. But yeah, so basically Tanya says she likes what she sees. She likes the player on the pitch. So yeah, let's see if that uh, if that goes for a, a, a triple whammy goal. Uh, and then yeah, Shaq and Zara had a quick chat. Um, Zara basically said to him that she's not spoken to him properly and he basically added on that f because they're both of them are from London they would actually understand each other and then Shaq had a chat with Tanya and he basically said that he speaks to everyone about him and Tanya and then she basically said do you speak to Zara about me he said he does he speaks to everyone and then Tanya said that she was very jealous asking whether he had to speak to Zara or not um, because yeah, they kind of didn't really seem like a reason. Zara was quite busy with Tom and potentially a new guy Aaron, so yeah, there was kind of no reason for that chat to, to need to happen. Uh, and then Tanya and Anna Mae had a chat, and Tanya just was asking her what Shaq sees in Zara, saying that he seemed to get some sort of vibe with her and that him and Zara are gonna get to know each other better. Uh, Anna Mae said that I think Zara wanted to stay safe, so she was kind of just trying to do whatever she could to kind of get on any of the boys' sides. And then Anna Mae said that if she actually liked Shaq as much as she's given off and she didn't like Tom a thousand percent, she wouldn't have blown off the other night with that argument between uh, herself and Olivia. So yeah, very good point there, that if she was genuinely wanting to get to know Shaq and Tom, she wouldn't have got angry at Olivia trying to get to know Tom. So yeah, she kind of dug her foot in a hole there by saying, yeah, I'm 100% interested in you, but actually I'm interested in this guy as well. And then Kai and Tanya had a chat and he basically explained to her that he couldn't make the bed. It took him about an hour to work out that the sheets were too small on the bed. Not really relevant to Love Island, I just thought it was quite funny to include. And then in terms of the next game, uh, the Islanders were involved in a space launch, launch challenge and basically all of the girls were dressed up in some like silver, cute, sexy outfit. They came out of what looked like a, a spaceship or some kind of rocket launcher thing. They had to like push their way through uh, balls, which I think reminated or reminisced the planets. And then, yeah, they had to pick a boy, say a funny space related line, jump on a rocket, which would then shoot and they'd be lying on the floor, basically like snogging. So I'll just read out some of the lines from the girls because they were actually all quite funny. So Tanya said, uh, bet you haven't seen an asteroid like this, talking about her bum. She obviously went to go and kiss Kai. Uh, Tanya said, forget about the G-force, I'm looking for the D-force. She obviously kissed Shaq and he added that he got a little bit hot. Uh, Anime said, uh, who's ready for the Big Bang? She went to kiss Tom and Tom actually said that she was a good kisser. So I think it was quite awkward potentially for her to go and kiss Tom because Zara was obviously getting to know him and Olivia also liked him but the fact that he said she was a good kisser is his head going to potentially turn. Uh, Lana said who wants to ride this asteroid belter? She kissed Ron. Uh, Jessie said uh, the rocket has just landed. She obviously kissed Will. Uh, Zara said that she hopes the boys rockets are full and she kissed Tom with Tom complimenting her on her sexy walking, her sexy dancing and I think he said that she was a good kisser as well but I didn't really catch that part. And then Olivia said, who wants to blast off with this pocket rocket? And this was actually quite funny because as she walks past Tom, she kind of was about to like go for him and she said, you had your chance. And then, um, yeah, she chose Ta Harris and he said it wasn't a bad kiss at all. Uh, and then in the end, uh, the boys had to vote for who they thought was the sexiest space girl and they all collectively voted for Zara. Um, Will and Kai had a quick chat. Well, Will, Kai and Shaq had a quick chat. And Will basically said that it's been a difficult week because he hasn't actually been able to speak to anybody, but now the fact that he's starting to kind of build this bond with Jesse, it's obviously making him feel a lot better. And I think Shaq basically said that he's managed to find a balance between being funny, but also being a lovely guy. So it's not just jokey, jokey, jokey. He knows when to be serious as well. Uh, and Will actually said again that he didn't really want to let her go, with Shaq saying that he didn't change who he was, kind of. Yeah, he was genuine. He wasn't going to change who he was, but he was just going to kind of tone it down a little bit to get on her maybe romantic side first and then get a bit flirty and giggly after. I think it was Olivia here uh, that did a cheers to the sexy dancing and the sexy girls at, and the boys. Um, and then Olivia and Zara had a nice quick chat. So Olivia said that Zara was wearing nice white boots and Zara said that Olivia looked nice with her hair down. So yeah, that was quite an interesting chat. Uh, Olivia basically said to Zara that she felt like there was a bit of unfinished business between her and Tom. And Zara said that Olivia can do her thing and she didn't want a man that didn't want her. So I think they were just having that quick chat in the gym, I think, or I think they went to go and sit down somewhere. But yeah, Olivia was like, yeah, there's unfinished business, like whether it's romantic or not is a different story, but she just wanted to go and have that chat with him. Uh, and then Kai and Tanyelle, they both had a quick chat. I think she asked him whether he liked her hair up and he basically said, yeah. And she said that she now feels comfortable with him and they probably could kiss in the evening. 
this is where Tom and Olivia had their quick chat. So yeah, Olivia said that she was enjoying her time with Harris, but she was still worried about him and Zara being closed off. And she said to him that she didn't want to come out of Love Island with no regrets, but at the same time, she feels like she can't really be flirty or like banterous or whatever, because it might put him in a bit of an awkward position. And also it kind of seems like Zara has decided it's her man. Uh, and then Will and Jesse had a quick chat. So again, Will said that all of his eggs were in her basket. Jesse here said that she didn't want Will to give her the cold shoulder to kind of string her along a little bit and then kind of let her go. She wants to know, is he genuinely interested in her or not? And yeah, they ended up having a bit of a kiss. I think at this point, Zara looked over, kind of knew what was about to happen. Um, yeah, they started kissing. And then, yeah, everyone started kind of pointing over in their direction, cheering, screaming. So, yeah, it was probably a little bit awkward for Will and, um, Will and Jesse, but they had their kiss. And then, yeah, in terms of Kai, Tanya, Shaq and Tanya, so the four of them were, were sitting down. Tanya said that she was laying all of her cards on the table and Shaq revealed that he got a text and the Islanders had to gather around the fire pit. So, obviously, the Islanders were told that the previous night people were voting for their favourite Islanders and those with the fewest votes were going to be dumped from the island. So we found out that in terms of the three boys that were at risk were Kai, Tom and Harris and the three girls that were at risk were Anna Mae, Tanya and Tanyelle. So I feel like I wasn't really shocked about Kai and Tom. I think purely because they've been kind of not in a solid relationship and I think with Harris, because he was only talking to Olivia but kind of ended up in a weird triangle, that's probably why he was there. I think people like Shaq and Ron, people genuinely like them. Again, Will, people like Will as well. So that's why the three of them were safe. And then with the girls, again, anime hadn't really had a connection. I think Tanyelle had just started opening up in the episode we were watching. So obviously from that previous night, they hadn't seen this side to her. And then with Tanya, I don't know why she was voted in the bottom three, but maybe people like Shaq, but they don't think that he shooted to Tanya. So that'll be quite interesting to see what happens. But we did find out at the end of this episode that the decision wasn't actually being made by the public, it was being made by Jesse and Aaron. So, yeah, new Australian bombshells had to use the public's vote to decide who they wanted to keep and who they wanted to remove. So, yeah, that was it for episode 9. I think at this point, I wouldn't even be able to tell you who I think is going out, because it's one of those things where literally it could be anyone because it is so early. But I think purely because she hasn't had a connection, I think Anna Mae would go. And I think in terms of the boys... I think Tom has something good with Olivia and potentially could have something good with Zara as well, with either of them basically. Kai, him and Tanyelle could be going somewhere, but again, him and Tanyelle both ended up in the bottom three. So maybe the public don't like either of them. And then again with Harris, he kind of was only having his eyes set on Olivia. So probably Kai or Harris would go, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, if you did enjoy this reaction video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. There'll be another one coming very, very soon. And until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.